Uy. I love you, Manila. Kahit ano ka pa man. Bata, matanda, mabaho, pangis, babae, lalaki, bakla, o tongoy. Halika, blow tayo. And we need to do scene after scene, uh, shot after so shot. So, but kami pa ahon. So we just stayed down there. They just threw us salbabidas. God knew how long we were there. We were just enjoying ourselves because they had lights. They threw in candles, right? But we got out of there when it was packed up. Beyond the HMI lights was sunrise. So I suppose we were there pretty long. And all I remember was oh, okay. the poo poo floating around us. It was dirty. But those were the days of careless freedom and carefreeness. You know, wala, wala talagang art. Eh. Tito Bernie, he was friendly. Of course, I don't remember if I already had a preconception of him. But already his, his personality was very big <laughs> and, and strict. And, and only until I experienced. But you know, there was some kind of affiliation that I already had with him. So a certain Affinity that I felt I've been here, I've known him long. Maybe also because of my parents' involvement in the business, but they were never part of my mom's mm -hmm. career. So yeah. I don't know what it was. Um, Lalang, I was just ready and willing. I knew he was the best of the best in that time uh, between him and Lino. So. It was just to me a privilege to work with him and learn from him. So I got thrown chairs. I've got I, I've been screamed at. I've, I've I've been thrown scripts as he is known for. I went through those initiations, and that brought me to the edge of my seat and on my tip, tippy toes. And I think. I should credit that experience to my always wanting to work on the 